Your WNEM TV5 News Update. Good morning, I'm Sierra Cersei. Let's take a look at the top stories we're following for you today. We're working to learn more about last week's agreement between the United Teachers of Flint and Flint Community Schools. The deal ended a months long stalemate over pay issues and pay raises, recruitment, and retaining teachers and other issues. Tonight's meeting is at 630 at the Celebrated Learning Academy. The Four Lakes Task Force is announcing when it will suspend work on dam restoration while an appeal plays out in court. The Heron Cove Association appealing tax assessments placed on property owners. The task force will suspend work on the Seacourt Dam in July, the Smallwood Dam in August, and the Sanford and Edenville Dams in September. Or, excuse me, oral arguments are on the appeal are set for May 29th. This morning, the FBI says that they need your help finding this man, he's accused of robbing a credit union in Hampton Township Tuesday morning. Investigators say he came into Sunrise Family Credit Union on North Powell around 1030, where he threatened a teller with a pistol and demanded money. Police say he is between 5 foot 10 and 6 feet tall with a slim build and possibly in his 40s. You can submit an anonymous tip on the FBI's website. Let's take it to meteorologist Matthew Mondro with a look at your forecast. Thank you, Sierra. For this Wednesday, we are tracking still some mild temperatures, even though we'll be about five or six degrees cooler than the last cool day or last uh, couple of days. Uh, highs in the middle to upper 60s as we go into this afternoon, partly to mostly sunny for today. We are first alerting you to that rain on the way, though, uh, for Thursday and Friday. We see those showers starting in Flint at around two o'clock in the morning by six o'clock on Thursday morning. More rain continuing to overspread the entirety of the TV5 viewing area, and that rain continues throughout the day on your Thursday. Could have just a couple of pauses in the showers at time on Thursday afternoon and into the evening. Even on Thursday night, expecting that same pattern as well. But rain continues to wrap around the low on Friday. So now by Friday, that rain coming in from the west and the northwest rather than the south, it eventually completely wraps up around midnight on Friday night. Expecting one to two inches of rainfall. So definitely quite a bit of rain on the way here for mid Michigan. We've still decided to not declare a first alert weather day just because of that rain being spread out over two days. If that was all in one day, I think that would be a different story as far as the first alert weather day goes as we go into your Thursday, though, still seeing some warmer temperatures in the thumb. Owasso, Flint and Lapeer upper 50s right near 60 north and west of the Bay Region, though, only holding on to the lower to middle 40s. That cold front pretty much splitting mid Michigan in half as we go into Friday, though, everybody down into the 40s uh, just with that colder air wrapping around the low. And we are first alerting you to windy conditions on Friday with that low leaving our area. Wind gusts will be from the northwest around 35 to 45 miles per hour. Then the wind starts to calm down into the weekend. Dry, mostly sunny 60 on Saturday. 67 with a spotty shower chance on Sunday. Overall, though, with the weekend, we are still expecting some drier weather compared to the next couple of days. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.